Hey guys, Calvin here, and uh, we're here in Spa. We're gonna go for a little coffee with my cheeky little brother. Check out what he's up to. Let's go. We're going anyway. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's up, boss? How are you well? Nice Welcome to, to my crib. Yeah. Look good to be in, in here, Spa, man. isn't nice. it? Where's the coffee? I uh, haven't, uh, I don't think we have a machine for that yet, so <laughs> I'm going to have to disappoint you and I, I can offer you a water there. So obviously today is a special day, it's dad's birthday. Yeah man. Um, we have a photo here actually of him when he started with BMW, a long time ago. Actually looks a bit similar to what I do these days, with the hairstyle and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously dad with BMW back then and now you, you're you're in the DTM with too. BMW, so obviously yeah. seeing that kind of thing from the family is pretty special, right? Yeah, absolutely. That was always my goal when dad started racing for BMWs to kind of drive for them one day and obviously follow in his footsteps. When did you realize that we would both make a career in racing? Man? I always knew that we had the potential for it in South Africa when we started karting. I would say when we came to Europe for the first time, when uh, you went Sirocco Cup and I came to TT Cup, that was a kind of sign that this is really something that we can follow through with. Especially for me and you, we never dreamed about Formula One. So mm -hmm. like our dream was DTM. And then what made it even more special that we're doing it together now, I think just to travel to all the tracks together and you know, we both had the same dream. So in the end, I think it's probably yeah. the best thing that could have happened. An historic moment in the DTM. South African drivers first and second and the brothers. Looking back, what are your emotions, man? We made history that day. Obviously, it was our goal for two years to be on the podium together. It took quite a long time, and I think it came on a day which we least expected it. When I got out the car and I saw you behind me, kind of like hitting me, bumping me on the helmet, my neck still hurts from that moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously, to do this together was like a, a really a bucket list item that we got to tickle. You know how, how difficult, how nervous I was last year fighting for the championship. Now this year, you're the the one sitting in that position, how does it feel? How are you dealing with it? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's good for me because I can kind of learn from um, the way you dealt with it last year, which obviously makes it easier for me. But you definitely feel like all the eyes are on you now. There's obviously a lot of weight on my shoulders to kind of perform every single race to the end now and no room for mistakes, which obviously puts more pressure, but I think pressure helps me normally. I'm gonna try catch this. Are you getting closer? I'm getting a bit worried. <laughs> don't Maybe don't you write even... me off yet. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> yeah, so. Thanks for the lovely interview, man. No worries, man. <laughs> First always, time doing this. a pleasure. Yeah. Enjoy the rain. Yeah, you too, man. See you on the track. All the best, brother. Good and luck uh, for this don't weekend. go too fast, huh?